Hey everyone, Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, thank you so much for popping on over and spending some time with me today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a reveal and post review of my very latest finish, which is Moonlight from Diamond Art Club. <laughs> So without further ado, as you can see, you are looking at the back of the canvas. <laughs> I've left it that way so that the reveal can be a bit of a surprise. Um, as I mentioned, we will be looking at Moonlight from Diamond Art Club. Um, the minute I saw this one, I fell in love with it. Um, and as soon as I got it into my stash, I actually decided to work on it. But without any further delay, here we go. This is my latest finish. This is Moonlight from Diamond Art Club. The artist, and I hope I'm not going to butcher her name now, but her name is Renjita Anoop. This is a round draw diamond painting with 23 colors. Um, the size, oh, let me just having a look here. 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters and this specific piece has four ABs. Now before I get into the stats let me just touch on that. For those of you that don't know what an AB drill is, it's a drill that has been given a special coating to make sure that it shines and shimmers a little bit more than your normal drills. Although these Diamond Art Club drills are so shimmery that uh, <laughs> one does actually wonder if it's necessary. But yes, AB drills will give some extra sparkle and shine to your diamond painting. Um, and for most people, it's a real plus to have at least four ABs in the kit. But anyway, without further ado, isn't this just stunning? <laughs> Like I say, the minute I saw this one, I decided that I had to get it. Um, it is very much out of my comfort zone because I'm normally someone that gravitates towards dark art, gothic style art, um, adult cartoon type figures, and generally those type of, of paintings. I'm not big on landscapes or flowers or the more feminine type of artwork, <laughs> if we can call it that. So my tastes definitely uh, lend themselves to darker art. So having said that, you are very probably very surprised that I decided to do this one. But the minute I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I think the two things that appealed to me most were the colors. I loved the blue in the background and these pink, red, uh, what, what color is this? A greeny yellow type of flowers. I thought that was so stunning. And I love the contrast between the pink flowers and the dark background. Also, I really was needing some kits in my stash that are not completely confetti heavy. I've been working on a lot of confetti heavy kits lately. And so I really did want to get something where I would be able to use my multi places and do some decent amount of color blocking. And I think you can see um, how this artwork ticked that box. The moon, the background to the moon, the dark sky in the back um, was all just complete color blocking. So if like me, you are someone who feels like doing a bit of color blocking, then this would be a great piece to get. If you are someone who loves confetti, then don't feel disappointed because there is actually quite a bit of confetti in the flowers themselves. Um, these flowers are a real blend of white, light pink, dark pink, almost red. Also the black, the three tens in the actual branches themselves. So yes, you will be able to obviously get a decent dose of confetti with this one as well. Okay, so let's touch on the drills. As I mentioned, this is a round drill diamond painting. I think I have said before that I am someone who leans towards squares. I love working on my squares and rounds are not my first choice. However, if there is an image that I love, then I will buy it. And if it happens to have round drills, then so be it. 
I would obviously prefer squares, but I'm not opposed to rounds. The rounds in this kit, I think, were the newer Diamond Art Club rounds because they were, they were fantastic. There was basically no trash. The drills shimmer and sparkle like nobody's business. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera. I think maybe it's coming through a little bit here in the darker sections. But really, this is an incredibly sparkly canvas. Um, I had plenty of drills. Let me actually show you my drill tray. So here you can see my leftover drills. Um, as you can see, I didn't come close to running out of anything. You're probably looking at this 336 here and thinking that I did come close, but I actually didn't because, here we go, <laughs> there was a whole another bag that I decided not to open. There was a tiny section on the canvas that I needed to complete and I just got some of my spare drills out of my stash so that I didn't have to open this bag. Um, but as for the rest, you can see really um, plenty of drills left. Now, on a slightly negative note, and I am very surprised to be saying this because it is the first time I'm saying this with a Diamond Art Club kit, I did have a lot of static in these drills. Uh, can you see that? All those drills, maybe that way is better, all these drills that you're looking at there are actually stuck to the container. I had that problem in about four or five different colors and all the blues, not in any of the pinks or the reds, not in any of the ABs. Now I'm not sure why that is. Um, I have never had static drills from Diamond Art Club before. I'm not sure if it's because of our weather currently. Uh, we are currently in the middle of winter, which means we haven't had any rain for approximately three months now and the air is very dry. So that could be affecting the drills. But having said that, I have been diamond painting for about three years. So I have been working on paintings for three winters now and I've never ever had static heat rolls. So I'm hoping that that is just going to be a once-off problem and that it's not going to be a, a problem specific to these new drills. But other than that, really the drills were fantastic and I can't complain. Um, as you can probably see, <laughs> they are, um, you know, they just look fantastic and the whole artwork itself looks fantastic. So next, should I touch on the symbols? Although, what really is there to say about Diamond Art Club symbols? They are always crystal clear. Many people don't even use a light pad when they're working on DAC canvases. I actually do, and it's not because it's 100% necessary, but it's just habit now. I'm so used to using a light pad that I just use it all the time. It's my go-to. I just find the symbols on any canvas just become even more clear when I use a light pad. But with a Diamond Art Club canvas and with this canvas specifically, you will not need a light pad. The symbols were perfectly clear. As for the actual artwork and the rendering, well, I don't think it could have been rendered better. Um, I think it looks great through the viewfinder and through the camera, but it also looks fantastic as I'm standing here now live in person. Um, the AB drills, like I mentioned earlier, there were four different AB drills and they were mainly placed in and around the flowers. There was a greeny yellow, there was a white, and I think there were a couple of pinks. The pinks, though, they were very few. And so as I'm looking at this canvas now, I'm actually battling to pick out the pink ABs. I think there are a few over there. Um, but yes, I thought the AB placements were perfect. I'm getting, as I look at the canvas now, I'm getting that extra shimmer, especially from the greeny yellow um, colors, which, you know, to my eye as I'm standing here are very sparkly. So I love the, the ABs. The confetti versus color blocking issue I have spoken about at the beginning of this video and so I won't touch on that again. Safe to say if you love your color blocking you're going to really enjoy this this canvas but there were also good pops of confetti obviously in the flowers. Um, was there anything that I didn't like? 
Well, no. <laughs> and you're probably going to get bored of me constantly saying that in Diamond Art Club review videos, but there is really never much wrong with the canvases. To me, Diamond Art Club is just a top, top diamond um, painting producer, manufacturer, supplier, and I never really have problems with their, their canvases and their kits. Um, the actual canvas itself is very smooth and silky. The edges are scalloped so you don't get any fraying and you don't get any bits of cloth sticking on your canvas. Um, the glue is always perfect. I've never had a dry patch. I know some people say now and then they experience glue that is very, very slippery. Um, I don't actually think I've ever experienced that either. So it's all good. It's all good from me. And just to give you a closer up view now of this canvas before we wrap up, I'm going to insert a video here where I pan over the canvas and give you a little bit of a different view. So enjoy that. Right, Diamond Painting friends, that pretty much wraps up my review for today. If you have enjoyed this review and if you would like to see more content like this, then please like and subscribe below. The icons are there. Obviously, it helps me to grow the channel and I would really appreciate the support. Other than that, happy Diamond Painting friends and see you in my next video. Bye!